Good motherfucking morning, dog. It's like 7.30. What are the motherfucking shoe room? It's underrated podcast starts before any other business does on the planet of Earth. Yeah, I figure out what shoes I'm gonna wear. Smoke a couple of joints before we go. We got a free game today. Dogs. It's on breakfast. We're ready to go. Head to the podcast. We're gonna get to go pick up the Godzilla the test print. Friends and family lookbook finally went out yesterday. It's also a pre-order up for the Don't Be the Hype. I really felt compelled to release it. You know what I'm about to say. Complex Con. With all the bullshit going on with the hype bullshit. I didn't want to release that shirt in a limited amount. So it's up for a pre-order, which will ship by December 9th. Real goal here this year is to make sure there is no fucking chance that anybody misses or gets a package late for the holiday. I'm trying to get ahead of everything. I know it's weird to think about Christmas already, but uh, I'm already thinking about Christmas. New friends and family, another lookbook coming real soon that's gonna have Godzilla and more AI, more happy cry, more you are your enemy, all before Christmas. That's what's going down. Let's see what Thomas is up to. That's very respectful in this hood, dog. Uh, they know, they know who they're fucking with. They're like, oh, you're with Teddy. Oh, yeah, it's true. I don't want to get hurt. You got any no. coffee? Nothing? I don't drink coffee. You don't do any of that shit? Mm -hmm. You bring weed? Straight edge. Yo, I got weed. Just smoked a joint, got one behind the ear and a full clip in my pocket. Hell yeah. yeah. Right, How are you? How's it going? Good, man. Good. Excited for Houston, at least? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm man. so for Houston. I'm gonna That's get a great so city. You love Houston. I'm going to get so fast. It doesn't shoot in 1080, apparently. What do you mean? I don't know. That was kind of the intent of this, to have a good conversation, let people know exactly who you are, man, where you started, how, who is Teddy Safarian? It's very cold now. It's like winter. Oof. I didn't vlog yesterday because I did a three and a half hour podcast. Uh, I'm sure it's up to date. I just talk so much. And then the only thing yesterday that I did was talk shit online with my thumbs. Not for resale drop because it's really stupid. She was essentially now making fun of people who wear it. Dude, one, if you pay resale for it, it's really weird. That's gotta feel really weird. What, like, if you pay resale for other shoes and you wear one that says not for resale on it, kind of making fun of yourself. The shoe is sort of making fun of everything. Like down to riding crease on the toe. It's not cool. It's not cool at all. All these flip flop colors and just more AJ1s and whatever, whatever. I don't have a problem with it. Like I'm not, I don't like just come jump out the fucking window on it. Oh, y'all like this shit? Fuck you. Everybody yesterday was just talking about how sick it was. Oh, these are the, this is such a sick drop. People are saying all kinds of things here. Call people the fuck out on certain shit. There's nothing that's changed. Since I started my YouTube channel in the realm of Air Jordan, literally nothing. There's a new model coming that doesn't look nice either. They're relying on is <clears throat> the <clears throat> the nostalgia, and now now they're mixing the nostalgia with the hype in a very like um what, what would it be called? Like it's very posed. I mean, what they, what's the word they use in theater? I can't remember. Nike limiting the shoe. Put a shoe out that's not for resale like that. Um, then you should just put it out as a pre-order. <laughs> you know, if you're really gonna try and drive that context home. That would be the the way to do it. What Nike's doing with that shit is making fun of you. I don't really care. You wear whatever you want. If you want shoes that have fucking instructions on them, then by all means, do your thing. I can't sit back and just have people be like, "Yo, Teddy, you gotta like these. These are fire, right?" No, I have to answer the question eventually, and the answer is fucking no. Getting ready for Houston. My tattoos are fucking completely booked. I'll tweet or something if I have a cancellation. But as of this moment. I'm booked. Papa is on the 18th and sneakers on it. Be fucking lit. We got mad shit dropping there. Houston shirts, pop up, tap, and eat all the motherfucking food that is available. So that's what I want. Bitch, I'm going. Calm the fuck down. Another red light. I ain't going nowhere. You think you're going somewhere? Uh, look, now I'm right behind you, dumb dumb. Now what you got? Now you're gonna get scared. Now you're gonna act like I'm following you. Now you think I'm mad at you. Okay, this whole world in your head. Cause you had the honky fucking horn. And now you think I'm aggressive? I'm not. I just need to go this way. You did this to yourself. So here is the Sunset Velvet, okay. and this is the Bereta. We can't get pure neon, but color-wise, yeah, yeah, I still think quiet. this <laughs> Hey, I'm right here, and I'm telling you to stop. <laughs> stop. Don't make a sound. Hammer. <laughs> Off. Drop a hoodie down the stairs. It just needs to get washed because it's got dirt all over it and I'm going to sell it. 
on that shelf, bro. We got stuff we ain't even worn yet, dog. I feel like Ocho Cinco in this motherfucker. Boom! But y'all remember last year the Complex Con exclusive that came out? I was never super hype on this, and if you go back and watch the video, it's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of off whitish. I don't really know how I feel about These were like worn for an on feet only, I'm pretty sure. But now with the whole, uh, with that not for resale thing and all this other stuff, it really drives the point home that I think stuff like this is super corny and I don't want it. So I'm gonna sell those. I'm also gonna go through here again one more time, see if there's anything for sale here. But I don't know if I'm gonna do all this. I don't know if I'm gonna build a website. I might just tweet shit out for sale. I don't know, because I got a lot going on and I don't got time to move in and shake it. Let's just follow me on social media is, is your best bet. But there's just some stuff I don't wear. United Arrows and Sons. Oh, boy. Omar! Hey, what up, Pete? Oh, what up? What's, What's up, Doc? How you doing? That guy's fucking fat, bro. He's fat, he's buff. I gotta get these. You brought them in yesterday. He's got them laying around. Yeah. This is a shoe room. Yeah, this is tight. Yeah. Cool little setup here. Man. I gotta get rid of some uh, shit, though. I was just gonna say, what are you getting rid of? What do you got? Everything has a price, dog, you know? <laughs> yeah. Look at this, all color coordinated? Right. Alex did all that. That's fire. Uh, one day, can I color coordinate that? I was like, can you? See, these don't even belong over here, because you know I did yeah. that. Yeah. Can I get the Nauticas? I'm thinking about it. I think the I can get them on the I've just seen those. Those are cool. I, I love the weird retail. colors. These are the Naughty Nauticas. I just don't have much to wear them with, but man. What are you talking I, about? You can wear what you're wearing right oh now. Oh my God. I guess you could, yeah. Yeah, like the trail soul and want to go back to the... I honestly think it's better than... It feels like you give you get more cushion, more cushion, yeah. more support, more stability. Cage yeah. digs in more on these ones. Yeah, it's just like their first, like the first yeah. try. It's like yep. almost like they're sampling. We just here. talked about these on the podcast today, and right. how they're doing the 4.0. 4 Such a disappointment. Yeah. Like. It's so fire. It's the OG sign. This is why I just can't buy those multicolors because I want these. They aren't We're out here checking for kanjis in these streets, son. I'm out yeah. here checking tongues like, yo, what you, let me see what you got. Oh, that's like wearing a new Kid Rock shirt and not a real vintage one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, Fuck no, out of here with that bullshit. Yeah, put your Kid Rock you, when you try to buy a poison shirt that looks vintage <laughs> instead of actually spending the 300. I'm, like the Nas shirts that yeah. fucking Ray Ray wears? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, damn. This shot's fire yeah. time. Ray Ray likes hurt feet, man. Uh, he knows. <laughs> Tom, Tom loves hurt feet. Oh, and he almost got ran out of L.A. I don't know if you didn't hear. Oh, no, shit. He said he, oh. Rocked, he said he walked down the wrong street and he had to like run. No one said, get the fuck out of here. And I was like, damn, dog, check in next time you come yeah, to town. Yeah. You can get him on StockX for under three. Under three? I'll wow. bet. I'm wearing a little bit. Let's bet. take a look. I you got a, a 10 at 285. Damn, 236. Where's 236? Oh, shit, a six. Five, six. Yes. Something ain't nothing out here. This awesome. shit is overwhelming. Because just these motherfuckers alone. Like, the, these walls are just a bunch of these jammed yeah. together. Yeah, dude, I don't even know how you decide what you want to start. The next boost purge. Like, where do you even start? I just go through them, I guess, you know. I don't think it took off how they thought it was going to with, like, the X and all the confusing shit they did around sure. it. You know, they haven't fucking built on it. Not they not. did a couple of those Bristol collabs and then your surgeon do his thing on a couple of pairs. Uh, yep, yep. But they didn't, like, really scale okay. these uppers at all. I think they just let it fall flat. <laughs> oh, here's some, I think, large stuff. Uh, yeah, I did a show in New Mexico, and this was the first shirt that I ever released and I was like super hype on it because I, you know, I had no money in that photo I'm like broke so I took the $200 that I had uh -huh. and got shirts made oh, and I was like oh I'll, I'll be able to sell these I'll flip huge venue advertising the fuck out of it months oh, and all these people were coming uh, the day of like Roz Cos fucking canceled I probably gotta do the show here right here go to the show it's just me and literally I'm not exaggerating not one person showed up not really? one Single for what? For, for a show that I had like planned for months. This is what this shirt was made from. <sighs> to finish up the tattoo schedule, one opening on the 15th at 1.30. The uh, podcast I was on yesterday is now up. You can check that out. I'll put the link. Shout out to Thomas and Dallas. Came through today, grabbed some shit for me and had me on the podcast. Yes, it's super cool that people take interest in my life and story, art, and pretty much everything I do. Super blessed to be here. Very interesting talk, I think. I didn't, I haven't listened to it, but uh, I was there for it. Sorry I missed yesterday and the day before. I've been really busy. 20 Houston and shit. You know, busy shit. I've been getting a ton of questions. I don't have a fucking tripod. I can't find it because Ern's out of town a hey. all right if the camera falls it's because it's basically sitting on two shoes suspended in the air about a 60 percent chance that's gonna happen i fucking fuck a lot of questions about pharrell's lately and the afro pack today we never talked about any of that i never really talked about the solar so i'm just gonna give you like a quick rundown in pharrell's and what's released since the beginning of motherfucking time you know what I'm saying? So the very first Pharrell that ever released, yellow OG joint, probably the highest selling one that ever released to the public. You have some friends and family ones that I do not have because I do not find 
any shoe to really be worth. I think $1,000 is pushing it, uh, unless it's an investment. If you're gonna wear it like me, it's a little ridiculous. If you wanna spend the money on it, you wanna rock the shit, being ridiculous is cool. I love being ridiculous. For those of you that don't know, at this time I was not plugged up and I paid a gentleman to hold them down the line. These came from bait originally, a nine and a half or something. It was basically gonna try to side swap. Super bummed, like I'm never gonna find someone with a 13. And literally the other kid tweeted like, same situation, like I'm super bummed, I'm second in line. My size was gone, I got a 13, whatever, whatever. So we ended up trading and it worked out. The first human races, in hindsight, feel like samples more than anything. Pinch a little bit more on the inside of the foot. The boost is definitely different. And I imagine that there's been micro changes and things that we don't really know. Not that these are uncomfortable, but the fit is more precise in the newer models. No trail bottom at all, just a regular NMD bottom. Blue pair, this, but black pair. All just kind of feel like sample -y. all fit basically the same. They're gonna be a little bit more narrow. I still say true to size. I can wear a 12 and a half, but I prefer a 13. There's no insole to take out, so you're stuck. Expect a little bit of room in the toes. Tangerine pair. First ones are all stitched. Craftsmanship does feel good. It's not like the sample part of it feels like it's janky. It's the first version. This is fucking beta shit, dog. If you get it wet, you're gonna notice a little bleed into the knit. I don't know if you can really see that right there. It's not terrible, but they will definitely bleed. The second wave colorways like this. Everybody in the earth. I don't know where they all are. It's the fucking hard part. These had 3M on them, which was a nice touch, but also it's vinyl with the trail bottom, which a lot of people do not like, have not liked, and are very vocal about not liking. Honestly, prefer the trail bottom. And there are now two different trail bottoms. So these have the regular kind of like ridge trail. Holy pack that they dropped, which is this pack here. We have four different colorways for these. This is where they should start to get a little cheaper because these actually hit the employees. So a lot of people got these on sale. Or when they register something on StockX, be it a lower rate than someone that paid retail or low resale. You should be able to find those fairly cheap. There's also the cream pair. This is the holy pack, which again, I really love it. This is where you're gonna get like the decline of human race, resale, hype, whatever what have you. Trail bottom really turned a lot of people off. And then the holly pack being like tie-dye-ish. The context of it I think is super awesome and beautiful, but I, I just like stuff like that. Most of these colors, I don't have the gold ones, of course, because of uh, ridiculousness and price. Which I've seen them in person, they're beautiful. It's actually probably one of the most beautiful gold accented shoes there is. Uh, you know, half English. These are the Chinese exclusives. Four different colors, I have three. So the blue, the green, and the red. These are also trail bottom, but I will say with these resell for a lot because of how limited they were into Asia. These didn't come in a 13, 12 and a half is the largest. The stitching is nice. They all have stitching. I really like the dichotomy of the English and the Chinese. As far as the upper, feel like the cheapest uppers because they're all white that got dyed. You see like the fade and stuff, but it just, it sort of stretches out a little bit when you're wearing it and you kind of see the white through the pigment and that part is just a little weird when you compare them to all the other ones it has a little bit lower of a quality at least the execution of it in the way that they colored it compromises you know how it looks on your feet you know, like i got these luckily from stock x so for me it's I'm, I'm super glad to have them but i know some people out there paying like thousands for these shit i'm just giving you the heads up on it and then luckily enough for me, uh, shout out to my fucking family at BBC. I have the friends and family cotton candy version, also a 12 and a half. BBC looks out for me incredibly. I really respect them. I, res I respect Pharrell. I respect the human race. Honestly, I've been wearing human races more than anything lately. More than Ultra Boost, more than Yeezys, more than anything. Not for any specific reason. It's just how it's been happening. And then finally to follow that up, you have the Afro Pack. Now we're starting to get into a different upper. So this is the Afro Pack, which we have three different pairs of. There's so this one, there's the one that's on my feet. He's right here. And then there's another pair somewhere. Um, I don't know. Where? Wait. This is ridiculous. I can't find it. Um, I can't fucking find them. I straight up can't fucking find the goddamn shoe. I found the Empower motherfuckers. A little bit tighter than the rest of the pairs. The extra paneling on the top, all of the extra fabric on top like that, that's gonna make for just a tighter fit. It's just more surface area. Woven fabric is just gonna make it tighter on the top of your foot. You don't have that toe room that you experience in the other pairs. So I think this, that is the end of my toe right there in this pair. And my toe on this one is just a little shorter. Like that's not my, that's my toes back there a little bit more. 
So this is where I well, this is where I feel like the knit is starting to change a little bit. Human race PK is sort of this double bonded thicker PK, and we've gotten different versions, more reigning champ style. Th and this is all built up, so it's not that thin. Shout out to BBC again. Heart and mind release. You can even kind of see in the knit that it's a little nicer. Stitching looks a little nicer to me, honestly. It's a little thinner. This also fits extremely true to size to me. If you're having a problem when you put on your Pharrell's, they feel tight, unlace them all the way. I know this may not be a surprise to many of you. Unlace it completely and it doesn't fit with no laces in it, that bitch doesn't fit. If you unlace it and it fits fine, figure out a way to lace it up so it doesn't hug your foot like a motherfucking prom date you left behind. They seated me this pair, which was super sick of them. And this is where we move in the lug trail saw which I think this trail sole is my favorite. It's a little lighter. I like the direction and the subtle changes they're making. Not so much uh, all the colorways. Because I don't love all the colorways that are coming out. That's for sure. The NERDs, I do feel like the green and yellow colorway is the best. Which is why I have them. I also have them because BBC looked out for me. And shout out to StockX. Because StockX provided all these other fucking pairs pretty much. Like not everything in this room. But the StockX hooked it up. Super expensive. StockX replaced some Pharrell's for me. Can't remember which pairs, but tons of this stuff came from StockX. Tons of it. If you're looking for a pair of these, there's also a lot of fucking fakes out there. If you don't know, if you just found this video in some random place and you don't know, there's tons of fakes of all the shit that you see. So you gotta be careful. So if you're looking for somewhere who's legit, who's gonna make sure your shoe's not fake, who's gonna take care of any issues you may have with the shoe once you get it, StockX is the place to be. There's an app, always a link in my description because they sponsor me. I love them. They take care of me. They're friends of mine. If it's not release day, and it's not someone you trust alone with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, StockX is where I'm sending you. But uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. lastly, definitely from StockX, Solar Boost Hue, Solar Boost. Strange release for these. In some stores, the first drop, and other stores, the next drop. I don't really know that they've sat, sold out. I'm not really sure. I'm sure they're all gone by now. But these were a big surprise to me. These fit more like an Ultra Boost. Not the same materials as an Ultra Boost. Boost is definitely thinned out a little bit, but it's like a more budget version of an Ultra Boost. I mean, it's a great shoe. I like them. They're a little warm. Double bonded mesh, which again, surprising that I like. It's not the same as an NMD mesh, not at all. And these little accents, Silver Shimmer, I think makes it. This isn't my favorite. Little hue tags, not my favorite. The stitching is cool. Not a huge fan of the stitching that they did on that friends and family pod though for Complex Con. Kind of Gucci vibe a little bit, even though I don't like when people do the Gucci colorway thing. Makes me want pizza. Harlequin, clown cars, jump offs. These are sick. I like these a lot. And then for Complex Con, they took this hue, put it on top of this upper sort. I think it's this upper. Yeah, they put it on on top of this sole. No, not this sole. Pod sole. I don't have any of those shoes here. No pods in the building. They put it on a pod sole, which I don't love. I've never tried one on, so I can't say, but that seems like a weird friends and family collab to me. Kind of Frankenstein, but these came out, these came out second. A pink pair. I am almost positive there's dead stock pairs of both of them. The first BYW came out at 747. They did a basketball game at 747 where, and this obviously has exposed boost compared to the other one. I don't really know how they did it, but they sent messages to people's phones. Those people got the shoe for free. I got this one, not by winning it, even though I was at 747, by StockX blessing the fuck out of me. I say true to size also, but you're back to a little bit of toe room, completely different fit. Solar Hues, also true to size for me. Everything for me, I prefer 13. Nothing runs super big to me where I'm like, this needs to go down size and for real, personally. You know where you can get them. If you don't, stock eggs. Start packing for Houston. I leave on Saturday. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Check in with Earn. Hopefully. Peace. Plus 115, but I'm going to the Circle K to get uh, cigarettes for a friend of mine. Greek. I know that it's a wild comedy here in the troll. Not an out on the town. Let's do it, baby. Roadies on the road. You know it looks like the door so we don't get mugged up in fucking Kansas. You don't wanna get mugged. Fuck that shit. That shit's for fools. You think I'm gonna be cold in these sandals? I don't I'm know. I'm skipping, baby. Shit. I'm freezing right now. You're from Chicago. It's the windy city. Yeah, dude. This is nothing for me. Really out of breath, by the way. That was more effort than I should well, exert. All right, we're gonna check back in with you guys if we see anything crazy yes. out here. That makes you can't sense. Put this in the I just turned the camera on now because if that dude did anything crazy, I wanted to have. Yeah, hey, yeah, right. If he was gonna strangle yeah. me.